All right, folks, we are back. We're going to be continuing our adventures with Mystery Case Battles, Ravenhurst Unlocked, 13th game. 13th game in the series. I have recorded probably the last, well, since number 5. So what is that? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have recorded 8 of the Mystery Case Files games. Check them out. Playlists will be in the video descriptions. Of course, I'm doing this live, so I have all my lovely friends over at Hitbox waving at you. Thank you for hanging out with me this evening. And of course, Team YouTube representing. I see you all in the chat over there as well. Let's get into this. Let's continue. Go, 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 go. That's a creepy hand. That was the one that wanted the uh, rubber ducky, right? Pretty sure. We're back, and I am still kind of freaked out that Charlotte's dead body is over here. That still kind of creeps me out. I pity her. She never knew the full extent of Alistair's obsessions or the price he is willing to pay. Uh, yeah, you know what, Nancy? I do need a wave emote. You know what? Let me write that down. A wave emote. Hmm. Excellent. That's a great idea. The lighthouse was in the tree. Yeah, I thought I actually grabbed that, but thank you for reminding me, Amber. Thank you. That... No, I thought that was... Oh, is this Gwen or Charlotte? I lost track, actually. Anyways, one of them's dead. <laughs> Yikes. All right, let's go forward. Forward. So what do we have for inventory? We've got solvent, we have a scope, a net, a swing plank, some shield parts, and a broken crossbow, which I still have no idea why I, or how I'm going to do that. Oh, it was Gwen? Okay, well, either way, it's sad, right? Uh, we have a perfect shot, so I'm thinking we need to shoot our crossbow there. And uh, we have a monstrous specimen, its strong jaws probably indicate a ravenous appetite. But I don't really have anything for it to eat other than... Oh. <laughs> other than wood. There you go, folks. Wood. So now I have a fish. Why do I need a fish? I have no idea why I need a fish. Oh, you think I should put the scope on the crossbow? <gasps> Owen! Good job, Owen. Nicely done. Thank you. Oh, yes, Nancy. That's right. The black cat. Would like a fish. There you go. Enjoy your fishy. That's it. A little bit of a purr, and you're on your way. Kitty. Fishy for kitty. I think we got it. Now we're ready to cross bow up the place. I've got enough wounds on my arms, thank you very much. So we're not going to reach in there and touch those thorns. No way. You know what, folks? I feel so much better right now. Uh, I was having some technical issues with my computer, and, um, phew, we're through all that, and I feel so much better. <laughs> Anyways, let's get our crossbow out and let's do this. Uh, we're gonna shoot this where we need to shoot this. Wow, look at that. One shot. Bullseye. Sometimes I forget how good I am. Yeah. So we are here. We've climbed to the top. We're gonna go ahead and grab that. Oh. <laughs> Who's that guy? Someone is very angry at Alistair. Join the club, stranger. We now have a leather belt. Shield parts, that's gonna go here. That's a very complex shield. Bullseye. Yeah, you don't know Bullseye? It's a uh, darts reference. So I now have a crank handle, that's good to know. Uh, let's see here. What goes up 
can come down. It's a matter of physics. Okay. I guess we'll net it up. The net is far too light. Open the cage's bottom. Oh, to open the cage's bottom? Alright. Hexagonal screws were all the rage in the medieval times, apparently. I like hexagonal screws. Those things are way better than Phillips screws. Hmm, maybe a bit more. Let's rock up the place here. Who says physics is not an applied science? Oh, the puns are real. Lord Cedric Ravenhurst. In the name of Lord Ravenhurst, you are hereby sentenced to torture and life imprisonment for not bowing deeply in the presence of our Lord. You are therefore stripped of your name, rank, and all earthly properties. May the higher powers show you mercy, for we shall not. I'm getting a sense that we're doing a little bit of an origin story here for um, Dalimar. Lord Ravenhurst, the seas have been hiding more secrets than the existence of this town. That's going to be helpful, I think. Because don't forget, in the opening hour, we saw that potentially Alistair has been around since, like, what, the 15th century? So there's something else going on here for sure. Now, don't forget, folks, that we are looking for... Uh, lighthouses as the collectible. If you do see them, go ahead and shout them out either in the comments or in the chat and we will attempt to collect them all here. But there is... must be a hidden area here. So I've got a banner, a snake, and a crank handle. Hmm. Oh, you think you found it, Potter Freak? Let's see. I wasn't sure if any of this would work. Oh, that shield's gonna work. Yeah, I'll go back to the tower in just a second here. Okay, I am back to the tower. Uh... Sunny Glow maybe doesn't know that I'm back. <laughs> uh, to the right. Hang on a second. Sorry. Uh, oh, is it here? Oh, wow. Okay, so now they're blending in with the other buildings. Yes, Yash, all of the puns are real. Hmm. Let's see. What does our map say? It says we are here, and we should go back to the cemetery. Okay, let's do that. I kind of like the idea that we can turn the light off and on, but I don't know what purpose that serves. Banner, maybe? Oh, hello. Let's do this. Now we have... Uh, hmm. Here lies you? This tombstone brings back so many memories. All of them unpleasant, I'm afraid. Oh, that must be a reference to an earlier game. I think I recall that part, actually. We got buried alive, didn't we? Wrench. Let's do this. Yeah, that's right. If you get bored, just keep clicking the lantern. On and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. Here lies your Gibbs. Devil Moon, you got it. Looks like we got some glitter. Let's do this. I want to say welcome back to all you folks over at Hitbox. We have just under 30 people watching right now. And over at YouTube, we've got just under 20 people watching right now. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. This is a special live stream. We're doing this on the eve of Thanksgiving. Uh, most of you will watch this on YouTube after the fact, and you would have missed out on all the fun. Aw, oh, so sad for you. 
Let's see here. So we've got to figure out the finger business here. Brute force. And we now have this. By this oath, I pledge my body, mind, and soul into the service of Lord Cedric Ravenhurst until my very death. I swear to uphold the laws of my lord. I vow to act against his enemies, be they strangers or my own kin and blood. Hmm. Yes, Jacob, it was fate. Emma's last name was Ravenhurst, and it, Charles found her like it was fate. It's totally Emma's ancestors, I think, Nicole. I totally feel that. It's true. And I think that's kind of the beauty of this game. It's really much, really an origin story of their whole Ravenhursts to begin with. The fish bone is to... I think I got it. So I need a noose and a lizard. Here, lizard, lizard. 13. Where am I scratching 13 here? Hmm. The noose is near the mask. Uh. There's our lizard. Oh, wait a minute. There's our one. And I'm still not... You're saying the noose is on the left side, but... <laughs> you know, sometimes you see it, and sometimes you don't. Oh my gosh, that's a noose? Wow, that's a very long neck of the noose. Yeah, I, I just didn't think of it because of the neck of it was so long, but anyways. Uh, sure. Apparently we have a perforated board. Why do I need a perforated board? Let's have a look at our map. Probably gonna help us with this puzzle here. Under the gates are rusted shut. This should be the winning combination for opening them. Gate. Uh, okay. Unless the gates are rusted shut, this should be the winning combination. Oh, I see. So, lightning, M, H, P, O. Lightning. Where is lightning? No, lightning. Uh, M, H, P, O, yeah, first time, woo, and yes, I had a little help from the chat, thank you, Devil Moon. We're ready to go inside the Gallo Square. Mysteries are afoot. Alistair, stop. He seems sure of his destination. Is he familiar with this town? Uh, I would think he is. If he's been around for freaking 400, 500 years. Wanted. Locksmith apprentice. Must be diligent, intelligent, and creative. Apply at the master at Gisborne's workshop. Apprentice found... With such a workload, who could blame Master Gisborne for seeking an apprentice? I hope he picked the right man. Hmm. The lighthouse is on the building. Oh, yes, it is. Thank you very much. Like, why is there, like, these things of... I don't know what they call these things, but... They would put people in here, wouldn't they? And kind of just string them up? Oh, wow, and why is there a plane over here? The sea has preserved the wreck in a miraculous condition. As if it were a museum. That's kind of weird. You want me to go to the restaurant and order a salad without lettuce? Isn't that just ordering vegetables instead? 
We had an agreement, Alistair. How dare you come back here after what you've done? Your head will roll for your betrayal. Okay. The agreement is of no consequence now. I shall claim the prize I have waited for, for half a millennium. Step aside, or... Or what, Alistair? I shall end up like that woman you locked in the bailiff's office? I should think not. <laughs> oh my gosh! That was one of those underwater mines. If I had been a little closer to the explosion, I'd be resting in pieces now. The puns, folks. All of the puns. Puns for days. The explosion must have brought the chest here. Okay, let's go ahead and gather up all our bits here. Let's see. Nope, I'm not done with you yet. Parts of a horsey. Hmm. Where there's a will, there's a way. Even if it requires forcible action. I'm guessing we're going to have to blow some things up here. Hmm. Yeah, the puns. Come on, they're awesome. You got to figure the folks that make these games enjoy themselves with all the puns. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alistair is far from the only danger lurking in this town. It was pure chance that, that mine is a dud. Oh boy. The mines are everywhere. Hmm. This buoy must have been pulled up with the town. After all, what was a stretch of open sea an hour ago is now a medieval town. Like, what's with the uh, town being buried and stuff? It's kind of weird. <laughs> Let's go to the left. Wow, what is this all about? They made very sure that the commoners knew who pulled the ropes in town. You think I need the solvent on the board? Sure, we can try that. Nicely done, Sunny Glow. See, I'm so glad you stuck around. You just helped me out here. Thank you. Look at that. So let's see what we have over here. Hanged for stealing a bag of flour. Hang 